They're making preparations for my wives to leave my palace. Yes, you will. I have passed your information and they are very friends. <laughs> Amanze. <laughs> it is suspected that they would be furious. But they have themselves to be blamed. See, none of them was able to bring out the love in me. Not even one of them. So that is where they should blame themselves. If, we, if, we, if I may ask, mm -hmm. when should they leave the palace? Um, yes, good question. You know that I'm a very generous fellow. Um, let me see. In my magnanimity, let me give them both a fortnight to enable them to pack all their things, all their words, everything, their relations, everything. That sounds so convincing. Mm. Everyone in the palace believes you were castrated for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Igwe wondered why a man should give up his manhood just because he wants a job in the palace. Well, a man can give up his manhood for so much. Like? Like being with you. I mean, I give up my manhood. Just to be with you. No. It is still intact. You just need a godly love. <laughs> godly love? Yes, a godly love. I'm worried though. Over what? What happens in another season if I decide to leave the palace and have my own family? The whole secret will be blown open. Have you forgotten that Igwe is old enough to join his ancestors? That his demise will herald a blissful life for both of us? Have you forgot? Um, Amen. Amen. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm always carrying him. I always took a trouble. No, Amen. Don't mind me. Oh. No. Is it true? Hey, Chimo. how could the heart be so cruel? Huh? Where do I go? How could I be made a laughing stock so urgently? I do you see, this, this is no time to mourn. Hey, how many days do we have? 
we have 10 and 4 market days left. But do we have anything to do to stop me with? Whatever that has to be doing must be done urgently. Eh? Even for that witch to die, I will give my support. I do. Mm -hmm. I will die. Yes, she must die. This is the only way out. Mm -hmm. Yes, she must die. Hey! Flattered. No. Mm. If I'm to make one request, mm -hmm. I would ask that my father should allow me to make a choice for a husband. <laughs> Did you hear her? <laughs> but I'm going to my daughter. You know, you already have a husband, I forgot. And in next few market days, my lawyers will come to take you home. And that is after the traditional right. Hmm? Nine, give me the chance to sort for my own man, whom I would love. I don't want to marry the prince of Obozu. <laughs> my daughter, do you know what you just asked me? Hmm? You are asking me to give you leaves to die. And I said, God forbid. Let me tell you this. That marriage you are talking about will not take place because it means that you will die even before the date. Father, give me the leaves. To marry the prince of Oman. You will not ask of that request. You better ask for another thing. And remember, I had warned you before not to mention that name before me. Have I not? Mention it next time, then I will show you. Then you reneged on your words. If I do not 
married the prince of Oman. I'll marry no other. Abugo! Did, 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 did you just hear her? She is very strong. Then I will deal with her accordingly. Not my plot. Not! So this is what has been going on in this palace. We all have been fools. A woman, what a crafty woman. How she deceived the entire palace that Emeka is castrated. What an act. While we all starve for sex, she enjoys Emeka almost every night. She has met her doom. The Igwe would know what sort of a woman person his godlike wife has been all along. I greet you. I greet you too. How are you doing? I am fine. You're looking very fine. Oh, thank you. Will really you try it? Oh, look at this. Looking sweet, too. Not a berry. I greet you. Not a berry. I said I greet you. Um, not a berry. The same way you came into this palace as a wife, same way I came in. I don't know what is wrong with you. The fly makes the mistake to think that because its name is fly, it is the best of the day. Would you be referring to me? No, I am talking to the woods. Okay, but you disdainful, shameless, <laughs> conniving maggot. No, maybe. Um, I don't know. I'll see you. Okay. Do you know how they will make me? Why do you ask? No, not. But are you sure? I am sure. I'm hurrying to somewhere. Okay. Go away. Supposed to be here today. Ah. She's going to be with Igwe this night. You are shocking. No, no, no. What do you want? You thought it was a former. Hmm. You know, King did. How you had everyone fooled. Igwe would love to hear this. Please, don't do this to me. Please, I beg you, please, don't do this to me. You and Akoma fooled everyone. But you couldn't fool me. I have been waiting for a day like this to teach her one or two lessons about respect. Yes, Lolo, please, I, I beg you in the name of our ancestors, in the names of all of our gods, please spare my life. The eagle will send me to the gallo. I will hang. I will work for you. I will sleep for you. Whatever you want, Lolo, please. No, not for now. So long as you've been doing that thing which I will always ask of you. Hmm? From now onwards, hmm? 
you are going to satisfy me in bed. No, no. And anytime I want this and you are not there to give it to me, I will expose you. Do you understand? So let us see how your castrated Bible feels. <laughs> What could make you in tone like the man in bed this morning? Come, you are my friend. And whenever I see anything good, I will let you have a feel of it. What is good? Has the ego enriched the band placed on you? Who cares about an old man? When I can have a fresh blood at work. Come here. What are you hiding from me? So shall it be. Oh, I have the impulse to go to the EP. But I said it will be a disloyal to me. Yes, of course. I decided to take the best use of the opportunity. What are you hiding from me? What? Hey, last night and the night before, I and Emeka have been sleeping together. This is unbelievable. You are joking. Everybody knows that Emeka is an Enoch. You all were like so dead. Come, let me tell you how it all began. I can't wait to I can't wait. Come on. Hey, come on. I just finished with Lola Adele now. She forgets something in my hobby. Come. Lola. Lola. What, what do you want in my hobby? The press of Oboros part fire and Igwe sees it as a declaration of war. When our book declared marriage. Is that all that they say? Igwe no. They say that you should be expecting war. Amazel, let me ask you this question. Why would two nations rise up against themselves simply because one refused the order of the hand in marriage? Igwe, that is the heart of man. Mm. It still baffles me. It baffles me that nations will be thinking of war, thinking of bloodshed just for a mere conquest. 
Eh? And that and that and that. Igwe, from the time of our forefathers till now, mm. men are known for what? Yes, I understand their problems. Their problem is that they do not have love. Eh? Talking about melody of love, it doesn't flow in their heart at all. There is no melody of love at all. Igwe, have you conquered her love? Well, uh, you know that it is for a while because before the rock was very, very hilly. But now, that same hilly rock has been blasted by arrow of God. <laughs> you, can, mm -hmm. you have seen only one side of love. Come on, sir. Does love have two faces? Love has two faces. Have soft and brutal, and the brutal one is jealous, mischief, envy, and such will be very bloody. I see. I think you may be right because I have observed that women in my own kingdom are now rising against their husbands. Look at my daughter the other day. After I spoke to her, she talked back to me. <laughs> that, yeah. way, that is not love. <laughs> Women in this kingdom has woken up to express what, what, they, have, what they have said. Hmm. And that means that Abama has instigated insurrection against my kingdom. If it were in those days, I would have ordered that she be put to death. I don't do such things again. These days I preach love. Amazing. So I will start calling upon my, my love. Because it's love and love and love everywhere. <laughs> Help me sing that my song. Sleep in his obey. Make her asleep. By this time of the day, rouse him. Bring him here. Okay, my queen. I will do as you said. Then 
Onina Beti Nene And I have lost count I stay awake all night sleeping with one of Igu's wife to another Wouldn't it have been better if I had died and lived in sex bondage? My work in the palace suffers. I'm almost going around all of Igu's wives. <laughs> what if Igu gets to know about this? But from the look of things, no one is going to tell Igu. Everyone is enjoying it. And they know that if it ever gets to equal, they would lose me. And they will not risk losing me. Emeka, what a common was to do with it. Get up and do this thing now. Oh, I'm so weak. The muscle, we have done it twice now. Just now. Where have you started counting the number of days we did it together? Do not try my patience, or else. Or else what? Huh? Or else what? Do you want to kill me? Mika, are you talking to me like that? I told you I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, yet, yet you keep telling me I, I should try one more, one more time, and you can see I'm very tired. What do you mean to be tired? Of course you are cheating on me. Okay, do you want me to tell you the truth? Let me open up to you. I'm cheating on you. And you have the impetus to say it? I'm sleeping with nearly all the good wives. You did what? Ah, you liar! Tell me you enjoy it. From now on, I will make sure that nobody disturbs us again. I will see to that. Oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought you walked away in anger. Away. One of my eunuch friends, he just left. What is wrong? Since I've been here, you remain lame like a dog. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. Okay. Today was supposed to be your day with the Igwe. What are you doing here? I am yet to know what is going on in this palace. But I promise you, any day I find out that you are cheating on me, you will die. I swear by the gods. I hope all is well. No, all is not well. Emeka is what I'm talking about. Don't you have shame? Do you want people to hear? You cheat. You all have access to the people. 
You really want to have fun as a soccer, you want to dominate. Lord, baby, you are still in the Igbo sports. No one knows what is happening. You better shut your mouth before it gets to you. Now, let me warn you. Stay away from Emeka. I have nothing to lose. This woman must be sick. But can she deprive me of this treasure and seize it all to herself? No. That will not Send for me. Filthy fool. Filthy fool. I saved your life and now this is the way you want to pay me back, eh? No, no, what is the matter? You don't know what the matter is. You don't know. A bearer said I should come to see you again. What have I done to deserve this? What have I done? Oh, no, please. Please forgive me. They forced me. First, a, a bearer found out what was going on between us. Then I don't know how Loma too found out. Then the other Igwe's wife, the Igwe... Uh, hey, save your breath. I said, save your breath. I don't want to hear details about your despicable acts. Thank you indeed. Thank you. Akun. your emotions. secret husband. Oh. That was why I arranged for the castrator that would not castrate him for me. No, no, this is abominable. Do you know, I found out that other mates of mine are sleeping with him too. That is abominable. You need cleansing if that is the case. I love him. I love him so dearly. I don't know why he could be so cruel. My queen, you don't need to love him. 
You belong to another man. <laughs> belong to another man. <sighs> Do you know what a berry told me? A berry threatened me and said she doesn't want me to go see a make again. But any day she sees me go to a Mecca Zubi, she will expose me. What? Mm? please tell me, advise me what to do. My queen, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. I want you to forget about him. You mean I should stop seeing him? Yes. What about other women? Forget them. Are you telling me that if they want to fall into a ditch, you will fall along with them? Okay. You do me this favor. I need to tell him that I want to stop seeing him. My queen, you don't do it this night. Let it be sunrise tomorrow. I need to do it now to unburden my heart. I need to do it. I love him so much. I need to do it. My queen, please. Stop crying and forget about it. No, I said I need to tell him now or never. Okay, as you wish.
What are you people waiting here? Where is Nkume? He is on his way, your highness. Go and look for him. Let him lead you to search for him and get him to this place immediately. Yes, your highness. But, your highness, assuming we don't stay him in the forest, what do we do? Search for him everywhere and make sure you don't come back to this place without him. Yes, your highness. Go! We shall stay here tonight. By sunrise, we will continue the chase. Good. Hmm. Would you like him? service to the palace will never be forgotten. And when all these are done, you assume your post in the palace. What do you really? I show my gratitude, Lolo. I'll be very, very grateful, Lolo. I will see you. As long as I live, no other woman will step her feet in the palace. That's why I am alive. 
the one thing you did was to be dumb. What? Where the hell is that? So she's not dead? No, we took the white heels. But to return another day and accomplish it. Does she know that I sent her on this mission? No, she does not. Lola Akwama has been banished from this kingdom. Akwama? <laughs> During those I love escapades with Emeka, we will discover that she's pregnant. Don't shout. She has gone for good, just like Lola Emeka did. He's shouting. Yes. that I gather us to make a large pool. Someone someday will link me to this attempt. <sighs> no. No. Mm. no. I'm not I assure you. This time, I'm going to do it smoothly. Ulaka, you failed. Me? No wonder you are not fit to remain in the palace. It is not in your office to insult my character, Lolo. You can't talk to me that way. Character? Yes. What character do you have, Laka? You can't talk to me that way. You know my office. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away. 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 Stay Exactly, because you know me, I can't do anything like that. Is this possible? Oh, Wait, you want to rape me? No, no, no. So you have succeeded. No, this is a film of people. She's... No! No, she's not. Let's go. Babu! Let's go. Wait! 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 Wait!
That was what transpired. Mm -hmm. So, as we speak now, where is uh, Waka? Guided by the warriors, and waiting for Igor's pronouncement. How much There is something wrong in this man. Something is wrong. For why should both of them be? Why would they need? And you know, recently, the both of them have fallen short of my table. I can't make a talk. Look, something is wrong. Something is terrible. Yes. It is a simple accusation of a man trying to rape his wife. And the penalty must be dead. Oh, yes. The penalty of such. That's that third act is death. Oh yes. But Amanda, love is a great teacher. Do you know what love has taught me recently? How? Um, love has taught me that in all I do, I must apply rationality. For if if it were in those days. I would simply order that the uh, woman be put to death. But that is not Igwe Ezugo these days. It is not to be that way. But the truth must be true. Um, Ebube, Igwe, go and uh, fetch Waka here now. Igwe, yes, let him come. I am innocent, Igwe. She lied against me, Igwe. I am innocent. I did nothing. My hands are clean, Igwe. And why would my wife lie against you? Away and hang him by the neck until he says the truth. Now, take him away. Igwe. Oh. No, Igwe. Say. Okay, you Igwe. Go. I will say the truth. I will. The whole truth, Olaka. Yes. What do you have? Igwe. She has that I contract men who would, who would kill a woman. What? Did I hear you say? Yes, you did. I hope you have not caught me. Ah. No. Have you? No. When the men attacked her, a stranger emerged from the bush and saved her. Well, when I informed Lola about it, she was angry that Abomma escaped alive. I thought she was finding a way to punish me. That was her reason for shouting rape over me. I'm innocent, Your Highness. I'm innocent. Hey, Ulaka. I'm innocent. What has gone into you? Huh? Forgive me, Iwe. And whom do you say is the person that saved her from your kid? Your man said, no one saved my queen. The gods saved my queen because they knew that I am truly in love with her. Thus, they saved her for me. No one saved her. Please be with I'm innocent. Iwe, is he still alive? Uh, Iwe, so 
It is because it is Udoka. We want to give him opportunity to state his case. Take him away that he may be hanged, for he deserves not to live. Shut up! Shut! Shut up! You don't speak such calamity, my friend. How dare you? How much? These people do not know that I am not a changed man. But the truth must be told. You, go and fetch a woman before me. Yes, he go will. fast. Yes, he will. Go and get her now. Yes, he will. For your presence immediately. <laughs> go and tell the Igwe that I said I shall not come. Wait. Tell Igwe, Ezeogo, that I, Agoma, says that since he sent his warriors to kill me. Lied against me. Iwe Ulaka is a liar. He's a liar. He lied against me. Iwe, where is Aboma? Where is Aboma? I said she declined coming, giving reasons that you wanted to take her life by sending warriors after her. Did she say that I sent warriors after her? Igwe, I am speaking as she spoke. Hey, this is my proclamation. Take these two away. Take them away and hang them by the neck. Iwe, please. Don't put me to death, Iwe. Just save me away that I may live and never to see you again, Iwe, please. Iwe, please. Evil spirit made me do it. Iwe, Iwe please. Iwe. Iwe, please. Remember the sacrifices I rendered to this kingdom. Remember the yesterdays, Iwe, please. Please. Hey. Iwe, I said, take them away.
have done what you have not made my Lord in my name. I believe that by now it is known all over the world that I, Igwes, have sent away all my wives. Yes. How can that be possible? You can't just send all your wives away just because of a woman. Well, a man will do anything for his wife. You see, I never realized that my heart can be so touched until I met your daughter. Right? So, I want you to go home now. Go and prepare her. She must be properly adorned like a queen that she is. Give me a Go home and do exactly what I asked you. I will do exactly as you want. How do I act like a fool, thinking of one who saved my life and who does not even know if I exist? Each day, each night, I step out all day will be expecting to see him standing there, smiling at me and beckoning on me to come into his amorous arms. Ah, oh, those strong arms. Oh ye gods, be the songs of my heart. Let him be in tune to the reading of my heart and let that which I feel for him grow to fruition in his heart of heart. Bring him to me. Responsible for the attack. The Doga wanted to stop you from coming to the house.
Hold on, I don't wish it.
face shine or beam like the moon is not even a proper or an apt reflection of the state of heart that is in love. <laughs> <laughs> what is then the true reflection? I will tell you. The sun. The sun. Because over the firmament, the sun has the strongest rays for so beams the heart that is in love. <laughs> if, uh, if I may ask, yes. when is love more going to come to this balance? Um, well, uh, Amanda, you know that as my elbow advisor, you taught me something in life. Patience. Yes. A man should be as tough as lion. But he too should learn to have the patience of a lion. You know the lion? You know, lion would stalk, stalk over its prey till he goes for kill. <laughs> no. uh, Igwe, mm -hmm. you know it better than I do. But I'm only reminding you what you have even known. Good. You see, because uh, the state of heart that is in love has the true essence of life engraved in it. Hmm? Yes, uh, is it because uh, it is uh, the vile nature of the state of man's heart that does not allow it to get the warnings of uh, conscience. Amen, sir. You be my. I want you to contact all our friends and enemies alike. Yes, contact all of them for this marriage between my love and I will be hard all over the world. Igwe, our friend will be duly contacted. Also, contact our enemies. Tell your Buddha Kingdom, Uguama Kingdom, Nguru Kingdom, and Akabo Kingdom. In fact, everybody, I want everybody to come and witness at the wedding of the century. Igwe. These communities that you are mentioning, they are our mortal enemies, mm -hmm. you know? As far as I live, our music kingdom will fight no more wars. No more wars. For the love pervades the air. Peace! I repeat, peace will reign in my kingdom forever and ever. <laughs> A bomba en el gunki me le me cosa no bomba le en el gunki bole bu cosa bomba ni die bu be gunki bu i pensu cosa i pensu cosa a bomba en el gunki bole bu cosa bomba ni die bu be a ka no ka Want to sing after me? A bomba ne bolu ki buli bukoza bomba le.
cheto bia de mao yoko e cheto bia soba onye moro na nya onye nje mono yoko e cheto bia de
while I am being humiliated. Why? Fight up and fight. Fight for me. If the sun stands still in his spot, and let that day never approach. What are you saying? No one will do what you just asked for. Let it be done. So shall it be done. I do not want it to come. You gave a condition that Igwe meets. Never has been told that Igwe of any kingdom dismissed all his wives just for a way to do it. Why? I thought it was supposed to be an abomination. Delighted. Ama. go away to a land where no one will trouble us. My mother will come with us. And Emeka, you've never told me about your mother or your father. Where are they? I am an orphan. I have no father. I have no mother. I'm just coming from the house. From my house. Is that why your face is like this? He's a mama. A mama who wants to waste her life for nothing. How do you mean? She's still being very stubborn about Tigwe's proposal. No. We have talked it over mother and daughter. She has seen reasons why she was married evil. No, you're wrong. Because as I speak to you now, a mama is with a stranger that has proposed to marry her. God forbid! She said he's the man that saved her life and that she must get married to him. No. No. no Obama to her. Mama wants to destroy me. No. I must do something before Mama ruin my life. Okay. Hey, Obama. I have to do something fast before I'm doomed. Hey. Man. He has been coming, only that you are always out. I greet you, Nay. 
Now, a maker or whatever they call you, I don't want to know. I don't want to know who you are or whose child you are. All I want is for you to leave my daughter alone and never to come back to this house again. Nene, is a maker that saved my life. Nene, he has been very good to me. Nene, see, see I don't what he want for to. us. Take it! Take it and leave my house! As I leave! And don't come back here again. You will not force me. Nobody will force me. It is too late. You cannot run away. Even if you do, the wrath of the gods will visit you and the repercussion will be from generation to generation yet unborn. It's too late for you. You must have a baby. I'm on my back again. I said you must marry him. You must marry Igwe Ezuko. But now what have I done? I will not marry him. What have I done? I will not marry him. Let him go and marry somebody that is old enough to be his wife, not me. There is no age in love, Aboma. None. Nay, I believe that marriage should be built on love. I don't love him. I don't feel anything for him. I swear by the gods, if I ever set my eyes on that man, I will slit his throat. Good. When you get there, slit his throat. But now you have to get ready. By sunrise, the military will be here. And I want my, you must follow them. I will not follow them. Mama, I will not follow. Do you hear out of this at this time of the night? <laughs> By sunrise, you will not see me again. What have you said? That was not a promise. Certainly not. Some time ago, the secret of my face. Demanded to have me as his wife, but I objected. I refused, but he insisted. And when he professed his undying love to me, I put him to a test. I demanded of him to send away all his wives and concubines. Knowing for the world that he cannot do it, yes, it is a taboo, an abomination. Words have just come to me that the Igwe has sent away all his wives. He did? He did. No. No. I must do what. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. The gods have led me away from my kingdom. And have brought me to you. I don't want to lose you. Dreams are just a figment of our imagination. I have come to see the reality that no one, no man can ever object successfully to a king's demand. Let 
to put you into trouble? Those warriors. When I had them, I 
vanish from. When they pass by, they stop almost closer to my house. I will proceed to the palace to inform you of what you have done. You may go away. At least for my father's memory, for my late father's memory, please. You are accepted to marry the Igwe. If I knew that that Igwe was this mad, I would have made a graver demand. My mother is hell-bent on handing me over to him. Oh, wait, I'm coming. Mothers like their daughters in the palace, so they could be called in a love. My mother has a bigger reason. What reason? Fear. You remember that dream I told you I used to have? Yes, I do. My mother just told me that it is because of what I saw when I was three years old. I actually witnessed the killing of my father. What? And the killers were sent by Igwe Zilbo. God. Some men are very heartless. I mean, he did that to you and he still wants your hand in marriage? Did you know what he did to your family? 
course he does. Emeka, you know, sometimes I am tempted to take his offer so that I can look him in the eyes and slit his throat. Other times, I had this into the life that I'm living in. Fishermen and hunters they move from place to place, they change habitats as they hunt animals. So that's why I'm here to hunt around this environment. Yes, it reminds me, I roasted the meat. Bush roast cut. Let's go and eat. Let me show you. I want you to go to Abomba's house. Go and tell the mother that I want her to bring Abomba here now. In fact, I want that her mother to come to my palace and tell me of her whereabouts. Do I make myself clear? Now go. Go now. And you, Ekube. I want you to go far and wide into this kingdom. Go in search for Abomba. Search all the nooks and crannies of this kingdom. I must bring you must bring her here. Igwe. Go. Have we forgotten? Forgotten what? Don't speak about love anymore here. Not in my presence. Don't. My marriage comes up in the next three market days. And I've not seen my lola. And you are here preaching love. No more love. Don't talk about love anymore. I find her. And when I find her, and she behaves well, she behaves properly, then I will resume love. I've spoken.
Mama, where is my wife? I don't know. Don't know? Huh? Mama, now you listen to me. I will not allow your family to bring my name to this dispute. Did you hear me? I will not allow your family to bring my name, Iwezuko, to this dispute. Never, ever! You were saying... Shut up! Let me talk to you! My marriage comes up in the next three days. And you are here telling me that my wife vanished after I had sent out invitation cards to chiefs and kings and all my neighboring kingdoms. And you are here telling me that my wife vanished? I said I don't know. And even if I know, I won't tell you. Shut Where's up! You? Shut up! Shut that your trap! And now you listen to me. I have exhausted my patience. Alright? And if by some time you do not present my wife, I will Leslie. What will you do? You want to kill me just like you killed my husband years back? Take this idiot away! Take her away! Take her away and go and touch her head more! She must say the truth! Take her away! Get her tortured until she says the truth! No! Not he wears to go. Not he wears to go. Will be brought to this restaurant. Tomorrow, by sundown. A woman near the path leading to the kingdom. A look at the woman. Warrior! Warrior! Iwe, 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 Iwe. Get ready. Search all look and crown you of the route leading to the kingdom. They just told me now that the sun maker with the woman. A maker with the woman. Yes, your highness. Go! Let's go. Go back to that tree and get the fruits. Okay? I'll be back.
back! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stand back! Stand back! That's what you want to fight! be sacrificed ten times over if I ever betrayed in love I have for my goddess I can never I'd rather die than give her up for something I know she wishes not for herself and so be it because you will surely die right you dare me you dare me Igwezu Gonkizizi in our music kingdom we shall see. What are you talking about? What
Udoka. Udoka, you were banished from this my kingdom. What have you come to do here? If other women were fool, Udoka is not a fool. You must pay. You speak to me like that? How dare you open your mouth and talk to me? Ah, Igwezugo. I am the only man in this Amuzi kingdom that has the power to give life and take it. Oh yes, I can decide who stays and who dies. You will die by sunrise, Udoka. Guards! 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 Ah! 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 Oh! Okay, Nani, you're disturbing me too now. Some of my wives are also here, was my warriors. Um, hear me out. My proclamation. Today I have seen this friend of a spirit, not just a spirit, 
but a woman's spirit. All men are equal. No man is greater than life. I want you to send words to Igor Fumwani. Tell him that today I speak. Today I speak love and no more hate. Tell him. Also tell him to send my beloved Aboma back to me. Tell Aboma that I love her. That even though that she is a child, that she has been able to touch the kings. Yes, he has softened the heart of the kings the nations and even the laws that were put before her tell her that she is a great woman. Uh, uh, tell you where Omoani that I have forgiven him all the hatred that I love him and I love his people. Uh, uh, you will also tell her mama that uh, she's not only the queen, uh, she is, but she is also the queen of queens. to return home. I want you people to set the former and the maker free. And that if Igwe Omwani would pardon them, they can become man and wife. Do you hear me? Hey, 
Because for bringing you back to me, Abomba. Abomba. Oh! 